it was 101 hours to run these guys down. The biggest case that's ever happened in Boston. And the Boston Marathon already underway for some. And we had no idea who was responsible. I was facing was the most intensive investigation that the Boston Police Department had ever conducted. We had evidence on top of buildings, on windowsills, on top of cars. We had a major sporting event going on. We had people with cell phones and video cameras everywhere. We got a phone call from a member of the public who said, I, I was across the street. These were taken right before the explosion went off. Black hat, white hat. These are the people we're looking for. There were differing views on when to publicize those photos and seek the public's help. We made the decision that the best thing to do was to release the video evidence to the American public before the media did. After those photos were released, it was clear that they were flushed out, and they seemed to be in a mood of, we have nothing to lose. Was this the right approach? A Massachusetts Institute of Technology police officer who suffered multiple gunshot wounds. It was an assassination. What other hell are they going to rain down next? Bullet holes everywhere, tins to the side of houses. It was so violent. It went a gun to me, it told me just start driving. We're asking people to shelter in place, stay indoors. There is a massive manhunt on the way. I have a a boat in my yard, there's a person in the boat.